Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to make an origami envelope. We're going to learn how to make a big one and a small one. This is how the small one will look like. And this is how the big one will look like. It's the same exact steps for, um, of the fortune teller. It's just that I won't fold it in half at the very end. If you um, want some help or need, need, have a problem, please check or comment. This is the big one, the small one. Okay. So, we'll start off with a printing paper if you don't have a square paper. If you do, please skip this part. We'll fold it into a perfect triangle. And I'll cut this line. I'll try to make it as even as I can. So now we have this. We'll open it up and sideways and do it again. Fold it in half to make it another triangle. Now we opened it and we flip it into a square version to do it like that. So I'll fold it like this. Then I'll fold it again in half, and then I'll open it all up like this. Now I have like this, so for the big envelope, I'll fold it all, all the corners inside exactly like the origami fortune teller. And if you want to watch the origami fortune teller, you could go onto my channel, Origami Hacks. So, now it's like this. That's the big one. This is how the big envelope will look like, and you could tape it so it can look like this. But, if you want the small one, you flip it, and you fold, do the same thing, fold it from the inside. Now, it's like this. This is how it's supposed to look like. You can put anything inside. For example, if I want to give someone a little gift, a surprise gift, I would write, Hi, or how are you? So it goes like this. Then I'll put it inside the envelope, close it, tape it, and then tape this too. And maybe just for like a little cute or fancy one, you could add a stamp and your address. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Bye.